Hey guys, thanks for coming back if you're returning to the channel, and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Dan C. Bearded, and my subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related. And today I have a quick planned video, it doesn't always work out that way, but I think it's going to be a quick one, showing you guys a simple method to inspect the health of your beard. Now the beard health story is always told in the hairs themselves, especially when it comes to damage, and this method is something that you can put a lot of time and effort into and really thoroughly early inspect your beard or you can just use it as a quick check and not have to put that much time into it. I think this will help some of you out there. First off, let's go over the tools that you guys need. The first thing is a sheet of paper. You're gonna want a white sheet of paper or a dark sheet of paper, all depending on the color of your beard. You wanna opposite the color, you wanna contrast it. If you have a darker beard, whether it's brown, whether it's black, you wanna get something light like a white sheet of paper. Now, if you have a silver, white, gray beard, you wanna get something dark like a black sheet of paper, a brown sheet of paper, something that's really gonna show your beard against this paper. And so for me, I use a white sheet of paper, and then you will also need a pair of scissors or shears, really any of them that you have are likely going to work well. Now a couple of optional tools that really help me out, one would be a mirror. Now you can do the majority of this without a mirror, but it does help if you have a mirror. I generally use this little portable, I don't know what you call it, just a, a movable mirror, it's my wife's or you can use the mirror that you're looking at in your bathroom, either way that will work. And then the last thing I use is something like this. I think it's like a pick comb, they call it. Something that has a nice little fine end to help you isolate hairs. If you have a thicker beard, especially like mine, I can find a problem, but getting to it can be much more difficult. This helps me dig in there, find that one strand, and then I can address the problem. So what we're gonna do is look for split ends or damage to our hair. And the key thing is this can happen at any part of of the hair itself. A lot of people think it only happens on the end, but it can happen in the middle, it can happen at the base, and we wanna take a deep look at that. Most of us can just grab our hair like this and check for split ends by looking down, but that doesn't tell the whole story. So I'm gonna show you guys how this works here, and don't judge my beard, I don't like to show my beard against a, a terrible color like white, it's one of my insecurities, but this is for a good purpose, and again, I think it'll help people out here. I have my mirror set up over here, so pardon me if I'm looking off. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this sheet, and you're gonna put it straight up underneath your beard. Now, you'll see how this changes, and I it doesn't look this bad normally. I have extreme light coming at me from all angles, so it's gonna make it look terrible right now, and that's okay. You're gonna get that sheet underneath your beard, and if you wanna start with the ends, all you wanna do is push this up like this, and then start analyzing those hairs. Find where you have a split end. And to break it down all the way to the basics, a split end means your hair will end like something like this. It will have just a point. It'll usually have a little angle to it from you cutting it. A split end means it'll break off in multiple directions. We want to get rid of those split ends. They will cause problems. They will cause more split ends. So all you do is isolate that hair, wherever it may be. Let's say that this is the split end right here. And if the split end is going right to this point, we're gonna cut just below it. And don't worry about cutting off too much. You're cutting a singular hair. You would not believe how many different levels your hairs are at right now. So find that split end, boom, just cut it, and you're good to go. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna isolate that here. And I do this on a very regular basis. If I'm chilling on the couch or relaxing, I'll oftentimes grab a piece of paper and even the boys will go like, oh, he's getting his hairs. And so I kind of analyze them. I don't really see any again because I do this on a regular basis, but let's say I have one. The ends are generally easy to find and easy to grab because they're at the end. I'll grab this hair here. I'm going to isolate it for you guys. I kind of grab the base below it. You're probably not going to be able to see this very well, but I'm going to take it right there and snip. That's all you got to do. Those are the easy ones. Now, the real trouble, the real issue comes in in finding the damage that's in the middle of your beard. And a lot of guys would be, want to believe, oh, I don't have any damage there. Some people do. Most people do. Hairs can get damaged from life. It's not just from bad habits. It's not from being unhealthy. There are things out of your control that can cause damage. If you have little kids and they are grabbing your beard, that can cause damage. I have a three-month-old daughter 
Yes, that can take a toll on your beard, so you want to keep a check on that, all right? So what you're going to do, this is now where the mirror really comes in handy because it's really hard to look down, especially if you have, if you have a big mustache. So you're going to get this here. I'm going to take my, beer, my mirror, and I'm going to start looking. But now the issue is my beard is so thick that I'm only seeing that top layer, but it's not getting the contrast. So what I want to do is get this little pick that I have here, and I'm going to take just a layer of my beard like this, okay? I am now going to place the sheet of paper underneath that layer. And this is where the effort comes in. You can spend as much time doing this or as little. I find it therapeutic, relaxing, and enjoyable. So now I'm going to look through these hairs specifically, and I'm going to analyze just with this one little layer and see if there is any damage done to this hair. So if this hair is good, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to release this. Another thing that I will do is get a hair tie. Now you don't want a rubber band, you can also use a butterfly clip. So use a good hair tie, whether it's your wife, your girlfriend, fiance, or buy some off Amazon. Get a hair tie, clip this off to the side so you know this is done. And then I'm going to address the next strands of hair. If I want to go over here, I'm going to grab these guys, get that white sheet underneath there. And what you're looking for is your hair, oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> we keep it like that. Uh, what you're going to look for there is your hair having like a bubbling effect where it should be going straight something happens in the middle it kind of pops out like this and then it goes back straight again and a lot of guys would say hey I don't have any split ends I'm doing good but they have hairs in the middle that have broke through that outer layer of protection you want to take it where it bubbles and cut below it get rid of that damage prune it whatever you want to call it that's going to make a big difference so this is the method, pretty quick, pretty simple. You can put a lot of time into it, you can put a lot of effort, but if you have damaged hairs, the only way to repair them is to trim them below the damage. That's it. There's no product that's gonna bind them together, there's nothing that you're gonna eat, there's nothing that you're gonna do that's gonna magically heal those hairs. No matter what they say out there, no matter what they advertise, you'll see commercials for head hair that says it repairs and like brings the hair all together. No, they can have things like silicone that can make it seem like it's repaired, but it's not actually repaired. So cut it out and that will help the health of your beard. Question for you guys. Do you do anything like this? Have you ever seen anything like this? What color paper would you use? Do you have any thoughts on this? Check it out. I hope you don't have too much damage, but if you do, just simply cut it, move on. Don't stress about it because stress then creates more damage and that's a vicious cycle. Just cut it out guys and move on from there. Again, I hope this helps somebody because it really can make a difference with your beard health. My name is Dan C. Bearded. I'm excited to read your guys' comments and hear what you think about this, what you found when you did it for the first time. Stay bearded and stay positive.